Well, I just have to figure out how to bring this up on here. Taylor, help me out with your tech support side of things, man. How do I bring it up so I can see what people are maybe clicking in and seeing? Maybe. You don't have yours yet, so you're good. Okay. How do I bring up the live? I don't know. Go to your channel. Okay, you got one person in. Okay. There you go. Oh, there it is. Okay, so if I click on that, I should be able to see what's coming up. Yeah. Oops. Crash, bang. Moderation activities now hidden. Sure. Okay. Hi, whoever's there. I can't see you yet. I'm um, just see. Okay, from Blueberry Hill. Hey, how you doing? I'm. This is. I think this is the first time I've ever done live on YouTube. So bear with me while I figure this out. I think that's right. I think that's all good. All right. I'm just gonna start scrapping. What do you reckon? Just get in and. Just start doing something and see what happens. I've just realized my speaker is on. So what are you up to on this Easter Monday? Is it Easter Monday where you are or is it um, Ray? Awesome. How you going, Ray? Um, whereabouts are you? So you're from Blueberry Hill. It's probably still Easter Sunday. Probably still Easter Sunday where you are. It's Easter Monday here in Australia in... Queensland and it is a beautiful day so I figured yesterday I was going to go live yesterday but it didn't happen because of a few different things so I decided eh, let's go live today let's see what happens people may pop over people may be busy all the fun stuff so I pulled out I don't buy all of everything in a collection i just buy a couple of pieces and because otherwise you get bored with it do you buy all of everything ray i don't i find that i get bored and i don't like creating videos over and over and over using the same product so yeah now this is the old world's oldest punch but that's okay still makes flowers still makes them look pretty so I'm going to start punching out some flowers. Why not? You watch it get stuck. This is the reason I despise this thing. Because the little pieces get stuck and I can't just slide it across. I just remembered why I wasn't why I don't use this very often. Does it every time? But they look really pretty when they're done. So do you like, so Ray, we might as well have a one-on-one -on -one conversation while there's no one else here. Um, so let me see, creative design and DIY. Okay. Oklahoma, oh wow, okay. Grew up near Nebraska. Oklahoma. Is that where they just had those big, um, they had tornadoes? Was that in Oklahoma or was that Arkansas? I can't remember. It came up on the news over here and I, now I have subscribers over in the other side, on the other side of the world. I take a bit of a better note of when I see major weather events and stuff overseas. Bobby quite often tells me, Bobby Johnson, she jumps on here quite often and um, she quite often tells me about her snow issues that they have over there. Man, your winter over there has been shocking. But 
yeah, I saw some tornadoes on the news and they just absolutely annihilated. I'm making this look really hard, aren't I? So, Nebraska. I often wonder if any of the states over there are similar to anything we have over here. I have some people walking around in the street, so my dogs are going to... Oh, hey, Deb, how you going? Sixty-nine Fahrenheit right now. We had massive snow even a week ago. Wow. We've only just here in Queensland, Australia, we've only just I would say Taylor's in the room with me and so is Jen, in case anyone's curious. Um, I would say probably the last three days, two or three days. Our weather has finally realized that it's actually autumn. Or you guys call it fall, I think, but we call it autumn down here. And the weather's finally decided to cool down a little bit. And yes, actually yesterday and the day before, we had horrendous wind. It was like 30, 31 to 35 kilometers an hour. Ooh, what's kilometers in miles? That's, I think it's double that, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how to. Did you have a good Easter? Yes, I did. Play with bells. Sing this one music. Oh, wow. That's cool. Today is beautiful. Yes. Today is stunning outside, actually. But my allergies are playing up. So going out in the wind, I'm like, eh, this is a good day for scrapping. So, you know, that's always a bonus. I am punching out a stack of, heart, of flowers, in case you're curious. I haven't used this punch in forever. As I was saying to Ray right at the beginning, it's the reason why I haven't used it, because it always gets stuck. When it punches out these bits, these bits here always get stuck. So annoying, but that's all right. I'm giving, I'm giving Jiminy a break, and I'm gonna use a punch for a change. I mean, I bought this punch, so long ago, like lots of us, you know, back in the day, actually, I, actually, to be honest, this punch, I bought this one about 15, 16 years ago. Still works a treat. It's not a problem. So, yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the way it bends and it just... It's frustrating. And I'm using thicker cardstock too, so, you know, because I want to try and make make these. Ah, I'm just going to get violent with it now. What do you reckon? Just rip it. She'll be right. I'm sure we all do it in our own, in our own little spaces. Come on. I want to make lots of little flowers, so... I'm in a flower mood at the moment, I have to tell you. So today's video that went up, it is a class video. Now it's a free class. So it's just, if you're, so for you guys that are overseas, it's just a normal video for you guys. But if you so choose and you want to find products maybe local to you, or you may even be able to buy the um, paper pads or whatever, um, high soprano. Wow. That's pretty cool. Jeez, I wish I could sing. I can't sing. My kids, if I, if I sing along with the radio, my kids are like, mum, stop. Nope. That's it. Enough. Stop now. I can't sing to save myself. Probably give it a red hot crack though, if I had to save myself, but, um, yeah, so with the videos that I'm popping up and I say free class, there's out here in Australia and New Zealand, I've teamed up with a company called Crazy Craft Obsession. Now, they're just a small company and they have, they're just a small online scrapbooking store. 
and they have done an amazing deal with me and they've said that if I want to create a, a kit, so to speak, and a kit or a combo, and so I purchased a few bits and pieces. I'll show you the ones. I'll show you while we're waiting for a few people to pop on. So these are, here's my leftover circles from the other layout. So these are the pages and the stencil and the lunar paste that we're using for the classes. Now, you can, overseas, you guys can grab rainbow. You can make your own rainbow if you don't have rainbow paper. If you like the layout or you like the, it doesn't have to be the same papers. But here in Australia, if you want to get the three bits and pieces together... Cast and Jacques have made it 15% off for you to be able to purchase it all in one hit and then you've got exactly what you need for the classes. So that's what the class was that was up today. So I'm doing, I'm actually, I was going to only do four, four pages, but I think I'm going to do as many as I can so you can get, oh, thanks, Deb. I, I, I love circles. I love shapes. I don't know what it is, but it's just something about circles and hearts and oh, more, more hearts. I've got a real hexy thing in my head at the moment. I want to I do a layout with hexagons. Maybe I'll do that after I do this lay, layout. And um, yeah, I just love using shapes and I find it so versatile with your actual layout. Okay, so... I should have probably chosen a photo, shouldn't I? That would have made more sense. Would have been really good. Jeez, it's windy here. Okay, let's pick some photos. Oh, I found the perfect photos. This is some photos. <laughs> Purple, that'll go beautifully. Let's use those ones. This is actually my middle child. This is Angela. And she was running running around the house, she was fully dressed, but she found a nappy and she pulled it over her head and it was so funny and she came past me. So I just did the, cause they were those, you know, those Velcro nappies. I mean, this was years ago. And um, <laughs> she put it on her head. She ran around for hours like that. It was quite amusing for us. But, so yeah, we'll do that one. What do you reckon? Purple, that goes with that. Angela's in the room as, as we speak at the moment. You want to say hi? Hi. There you go. See? Imagine her running around like a crazy child with a nappy on her head. It's pretty funny. So we'll use those photos. Let's trim them down to start off with. I print my photos. I think practically everyone's kid <laughs> did that with nappies or underwear. Oh, look, I tell you what. I actually have some photos. I have... A stack of photos that there's no way I can put them on video because YouTube will flag me big time. Um, but just silly, stupid photos. You know when you know when your child is learning to put on <laughs> put on their underwear and two legs go in one hole. Like it's just it's funny. It's cute. They're the memories that we have, but they're the they're the pages that I scrap privately, and it's pretty funny. But you've got to have them. I mean, you know, it's funny at the time. She ran around with this thing on her head for ages, let me tell you. It's pretty funny. Okay. Now, I've pulled out. So, I've got the purple. Now, these are rub-ons. Let me show you how many comes in here. I think it's two sheets. I haven't even opened it. Let me open it. Let's hope that's not too annoying for you guys to hear. When I open these, this is how I do it. I like roll it over and put the sticky against the edge so I can actually so I can actually slide them in and out. Otherwise you get stuck on that sticky bit. Do you guys do that? Okay, let's have a look at these. These rub-ons, if you guys have not tried rub-ons in a long time, you need to give these a crack because they are fantastic yep that one and that one so there are only two and that's just a backing sheet yep oh they're so pretty happy memories that's so cute i love butterflies 
you do that too yeah it, you've got to roll it you've got to like roll it back on itself otherwise it drives you nuts i think we're going to really give these a good good hard crack today let's do that okay so i don't destroy them i'm just gonna slip them back in here but we will come back to those done okay kick that out of the way photos out of the way cut out lots of little flowers I really like this page here. It screams to be cut out. I feel like I love the colors, but I don't want all this white in between them. So I think, I think we're gonna have to cut this out. And the other thing I've pulled out for this particular layout, I don't know how long I'm gonna be on here live, guys. I'm just gonna, um, DIY online crafting on Facebook. Yes. I am, I don't know how long I'm going to be live. I'll just keep going. What do you reckon? Okay, let's make something cute. All right, let's make these flowers into, gee whiz, I'm all over the place, aren't I? Let's start with this and we'll pop it, pop it down. I think, how many rainbows do we have on here? I don't know that I want the green. I think the blues and the pinks and the purples, but not the green. Deal. Okay, now I'm going to use my trimmer that I bought the other day. This is what I was, if you're wondering what I was talking about the other day on my live, not my live, on my, one of my videos, I was talking about I bought a new trimmer. Now, this one, so this is my old one, and see how it's only three inches wide? See this little bit that you butt it up to? That, compared to this one, this one is six inches that you can butt it up to, and it holds your paper much more at a 90 degree, so you can get, get it, it's way better than this one. So, that's something that I'm trying to get people to realize on like if you're gonna shell out don't get the get the wider one it's probably gonna cost you about an extra 20 bucks initially but believe me you won't regret it now let me line these up do you reckon i can line them up i think i might come down to this one here as well so i'm just gonna trim it this is the so I bought these from Crazy Craft Obsession and I buy the single sheets instead of just buying the full pack. So this one is number 23 from the Blooming Wild collection. Just in case you were curious what one this was. It's hard to cut these things on a trimmer when they're too long, when you're on the diagonal, but that's all right. Die! How you going? I'm so glad you popped over. I wasn't sure. I didn't want to put a, a broadcast that I was going to do it because, you know, yesterday I did and I just wasn't feeling good like yesterday afternoon. It was, I think I had too much sugar. That's probably what it was. I just bit too much sugar and just chilling out with my family. So you just met. A new friend with six autoimmune issues. Wow, you got them too. How bad is the whole... I don't like harping on the fact that I have some medical problems, you know, with the autoimmune thing, but some days it just takes the wind out of my sails. And there's no way in God's green earth would I be able to scrap let alone be happy in a live you know what i mean you know what i'm saying right um yeah yes i'm i'm really bad i love chocolate but i really should avoid it because well that much sugar with autoimmune diseases really doesn't work but but then you sort of go it's living 
got to live. So, loving how these are coming out. Okay, this one's not going to reach either. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to cut them. Let's see what happens. I love these scissors. I know I, I say this all the time. But if you haven't seen these scissors, look how flexible they are. Now, because I have arthritis in my hands, these things are amazing. And the small ones, they're amazing too. They're nice and soft. Tim Holtz, legendary. They might cost you a little bit more. My girls are walking around with Nerf guns. So I'm not sure if you're going to hear a Nerf gun fight in a minute. But they're walking around with them. I'm a little nervous. They're, they're so good. Like, I might have girls, but I tell you what, they absolutely love getting in and we had a Nerf gun fight. We went down to my father-in-law and mother-in-law's place on Easter Saturday. And I have to say, yeah, you know what? I think that's what it was yesterday too. The sugar and my fibro, it's just off the charts. And I've been, this is TMI for everyone, but if you've got fibro, or rheumatoid arthritis, you know exactly what I'm saying. Yes, Deb, please, please put it in there. Absolutely. I have no issue with people sharing things, especially if it's going to benefit not only me, but anyone else. As long as it's not... I have had had some weirdos popping, popping comments on some of my videos, so I try and get them as quick as I can, but... Some of the stuff is very inappropriate and it is not approved. Um, no, what I was just saying is yesterday I've been getting lots of pain in this these joints here. You would expect it to be in that joint or in here, but it's been all up in here and it's just... Whoa. Yesterday it was horrendous. It really, really hurt. And I, and I get it. And it's not from cutting. Like So if you can see how I'm cutting... See how I'm holding my scissors? It's not from that. So it's, I don't know. It, it's probably a combination of weather, but more likely to be the quantity of sugar I consumed. As I sat binging YouTube and feeling sorry for myself because I felt crappy and I was probably just adding fuel to the fire because I was eating Easter eggs. <laughs> but I've woken up this morning and I'm all good. So, yeah, um, cutting doesn't bother me, crocheting does that. Yes, I actually crocheted a massive king size, king size blanket for our bed. And I have to tell you, by the time I got to the end of it, my hands were not good. But, and it was so heavy in the end that, yeah, but it was, it was good. But I like crocheting. What other hobbies do you guys have other than scrapbooking? I mean, I love all things art and paper. I know my eldest daughter, she does diamond dots. She likes doing that. Um, but she likes doing that because she likes the guided kind of craft. Whereas I like to just go free for all and just do it. And just get into it. This is so much slower cutting it this way, but I'm trying to leave the edge on this bit. Okay. Now, I don't want... So, I want those colours, but I don't want... Do we want yellow? I think we could have yellow. I love yellow. Do you reckon I can slip it in the back? Of course I can. Why not? Then it'll speed the process up. Absolutely. There we go. I think we want, da, da, da. so much quicker with a trimmer. I had a lady the other day ask me, uh, if you choose to ask to join, please remember to answer the questions. Yep, okay, cool. Um, yeah, I, I'll do that, because that's, that's the other thing too. You feel, when you've got an autoimmune disease, do you feel like 
people sort of look at you a little bit differently because they're like, but you can't see that it's a problem. Like it doesn't, you don't look like you have an issue. You just look perfectly normal. Except for the fact that you're in excruciating pain. Mine's pretty, uh, pretty much under control these days, but excessive consumption of sugar definitely doesn't help. But can you see why I speed up my videos? I take a while, don't I? It's windy again. My husband stopped doing whatever he was doing out the back. Our group is for chronic illness, including arthritis, mental health chronic pain etc yeah that's what I need I think it's out there somewhere sorry I'm just sending Morse code to my eldest daughter my lips are dry everything's dry at the moment I don't know what's going on everything's dry um can't beat Vaseline right okay we're so close. I just want these little bits. I don't even know if I'll use these, but you know, no, I'll leave that like that actually. I might use that. And I do like the yellow. I think I need the yellow on there as well. Ah. See, this is why I speed up my videos because this is how I'm just as indecisive as you guys. Except I have the beauty of, well, actually I don't edit it out. I just fast forward it. So it makes it look like I make the decisions really quickly. But I really don't. What's your favourite um, paper collection at the moment? I'm really liking this. This Simple Stories. Um, what's it called? Simple Vintage Life in Bloom. I'm loving that. It's so pretty. And I definitely like the Paige Evans Bloom and Wild. Loving it. Oh, you need to put some more in it. Sorry. My daughter's trying to use alcohol. Rubbing alcohol. We went to my mother and my mother and father's yesterday. Um, what are we doing? Um, I've done most of the things. Did a prom dress. Wow. That's awesome. Because I'm not. <laughs> really? Oh, you know what? I, some days I feel like I'm about 105 in the shade, let me tell you. Some days are good, some days aren't. I'm only 40, I'm 46. So some people would say that's old. Some people would say that's young. Um, <laughs> Taylor's topping up the uh, rubbing alcohol. She's got a sandfly bite or two on her leg from going to my mum and dad's yesterday. They live not far from us, but they, they have got bushland near them. And whenever it rains, which it rained like for half a microsecond the day before, and as soon as, soon as it does, guaranteed, we will end up with sand flies. Those things drive me nuts. Okay, let's, let's focus a little bit. I'm not old. I have six grandkids, so I ain't old. We have three. I don't have any grandkids yet. I, my children are... Um, one of my children's ages, one just turned, okay, so Taylor turns 24 this year. Wow, that makes me feel old when I say that. Ooh. And yeah. Angela just turned 15. And Jennifer, at the end of this month, will be 12. So, yeah, it's kind of makes me feel a little bit old, but that's all right. My oldest will be 34 tomorrow. Oh, awesome. Happy birthday for tomorrow. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm thinking. See, I prefer these. See how I'm, when you take out that extra white piece in the middle, and I don't want them in a 
rainbow order as such. I just want them. When I saw this paper, I thought, oh, that would look so cool. If I got rid of all that white in the center. Da -da 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 -da. Gonna have play. That blue's really polarizing, isn't it? I'm not sure if that one's gonna work for me. But I do want this other purple. I think we need to do some mixed media. What do you reckon? What do you want me to use? My grandkids, our grandchildren are 26, 23, and 16. Awesome. They're good. I reckon they're good ages, hey. You got good grandkids or you got kids that, grandkids that like to sit on mobile phones all the time? I'm one of those strict parents. My husband and I, we say yes to most things when, when it's doable. But something that we don't do is we, we have kids... And we don't just give them mobile phones. It's very... Some kids just expect them the second they go to high school. And that's just not what we do. Because we just see them... Turn, we call them fombies. They walk out of school and they've got... They literally... They've got their eyes in their phone. They don't look up at the road. They don't... They are just literally little fombies. So Angela does have a phone, but it doesn't have the, um, all the, she has a phone now because she had a job, you know, she's got to have it for work. Um, but it's just a phone call phone, so to speak. Do you reckon that yellow goes in there or not? Let's not make a decision on that until we make a decision. I'm just going to chuck these down just to see. This is kind of where my brain creates a little bit. This is, this is the process that I go through sometimes. So what mixed media do you want me to use? I've got watercolor paint. Um, I've got inks paint, watercolour, Lindy's, well Lindy's Magicals won't go with this paper I don't think, it'll be, and then, yeah, see I'm liking where that's going, that's happening, let's do it, yeah, okay, let's colour these flowers and make them turn into some pretty goodness. Any preference? Do you have gelatos? Yes, yes I do. We could do gelatos. Not a problem. Let me move that out of the way. I have, oh, I have El Cheapo gelatos. They are exactly the same. I have lots and lots and lots and lots of colors. Let's have a look and see what will work. Well, Purple will work. Pink will work. There's another pink. We could do some yellow. I haven't used mine in a while. I have a, you know what? I was, as soon as you said it, I was like, oh my God, I haven't used them for ages. See, this is, this is what's good about when you're live. You can, I love, you know what color I love in here? It's this one. It kind of, it's sort of peacock feathery. It sort of goes that direction. It's nice. I reckon we could probably work with that as well. And blue. What do you think? A bit of pink. And we'll tie in a bit of yellow. I think that pink is the same. But we'll pull it out anyway. And there's another light blue. Now, I will leave the darker purple out so we can do some shading and maybe a darker blue. That one looks pretty dead, doesn't it? Should be right. I'll use that one. Okay. Let's give this a crack -lack. I do have a gold, but I think I'll use a different gold. 
I haven't used these for ages. They're all rolling into these ones now. I'll leave the white out in case we want to lighten it up. What do you reckon? That looked like a good sort of color range to go with these colors. That all sort of goes, doesn't it? Yeah, why not? That works, that works. Now, I'm just gonna move that tub out of the way for a minute. And my scissors. Now, I'm excited. I haven't played with these for ages. These ones, these gelatos, these are, so this one is Faber-Castell and it's called a watercolor gel pastel. And these ones are the Montmartre ones which is an Aussie company. And I'll be honest with you, I actually bought one packet of the normal gelatos, the, you know, the ones that look like a chapstick. And I bought those and they, they were like, for me here, because here in Australia, things are insanely expensive. Um, they were about $15 for two gelatos, but I managed to get a full set of these, which was about, 18 of them for $15. So I figured, give it a crack, see what it's like. And it worked a treat. So, pull out a hard piece of plastic. This plastic that I'm using is out of the um, Tim Holtz watercolor pencil thingy. It's good, because you can sort of do some more with it. Now, what I want to do, you guys all go over there for a minute. When I put these, oh. Uh, my husband's playing with RC cars. I've just worked out what's going on. Um, we love re remote control cars and stuff. I'm going to do that with the flowers at the end. Okay, so I, I'm going to need a base and a top for each flower. So I reckon I do the darker color underneath and the lighter color on top. And then it'll be sort of like a shadow. Now, let me see, do we want to, to have a little play and see what we would prefer to do? Where's my leftover bit? Here it is. No. Do we want to do... I can't get the lid off. Ah! Need some water in the system. I love this spray bottle. It's so good. Now, none of this has been gessoed or anything. It's just going to give you a nice... Yeah, that works. I like that blue. Yeah, it's not bad. I just want to have a... Because I haven't seen these in a while, so... I should have, that one's pretty. I love that one. I wish I could get more just of that color. Yes, my, I'll be honest with you. I struggled to figure out. So if you, I have your pink one, yes. This, so what I bought, I've been looking for a cover to protect because I like having my grid underneath me so I can line things up easily while I'm working, right? But I need the surface protected a little bit because these mats, these um, self-healing mats are expensive. So I was looking for my, I had this silicon mat here. You can see it off to the side and it's not silicon, sorry. It's Teflon. And this one is actually a waterproof one, which is really good. And I was trying to find it. I have managed to find it. It's a Couture Creations one. But in the meantime, I jumped on Amazon and I found these. And they are just clear. It's a pack of six um, clear placemats. And all I do is just put a bit of tape under it. And that way... I will be honest, yes, I have cut into it a couple of times because I forget that it's on top, but it cleans up like pretty good. This paint that I got on it the other day though, that's the Montmartre Black. 
so it probably needs to be replaced it's starting to look a little bit manky but it should be right for the moment we'll see what happens but yes that's where i got mine from and local two for a dollar yes they are so good and it is such it's a more affordable way of doing it and at the end of the day let's be honest you don't want to spend your money on the props in the background you want to spend your money on the nice stuff you know the fun stuff the pretty stuff well that's my opinion that's what i prefer to spend my money on these are awesome great decision with the yes okay i think that's going to be our color palette guys do we want to add yellow We could do some yellow in the middle. That could work. Now I have it all over my finger. All right. That's going to work. That's what we're going to do. Let's get creating. Let's do the fun bit. So how many do we have? Let's see how many we have. Split them into two piles, Karen. Do you ever talk to yourself like that? Um, Dollar Tree. See, we don't have a Dollar Tree out here. The amount of times we have said, I wish we had a Dollar Tree, because you guys have the most amazing bargains. We just don't. Or a 99 cent store. Or a 99 cent, yeah, 99 cent store. That would be amazing. You guys seem to always have, even your Joann's and Michael's. Mate, we have, we have Spotlight, but I can tell you right here, right now, we don't get your Joann's sales like you guys do. We don't get that ever. Never, ever, ever. It's kind of crazy. Okay, let me do... I'm going to, instead of putting it directly on there, I'm going to put it on here. This is my little bit of plastic. And I'm going to blend them sort of like... A, oh, this one just doesn't want to come apart. doesn't want to be used. Guess what? I got news for you, sucker. You're getting news today. Now, normally I would have some music playing in the background, but because I'm on YouTube, can't do it. Love to chat, so please let me. Controlling the chat, yeah. Yes. I don't even know how many people are watching. Oh, 15, wow, hi guys. I didn't even notice that. Gee whiz. I'm just in my own little world here. Playing with pretty colours. Come on. Tay, no. can you do me a huge favour? Maybe. And top... <laughs> don't you love that? You, you sit down to do a live and you don't fill your products up. Can you please top that up with water for me, please? You'd fill it up with alcohol, but then that's not going to make this very successful at all. Okay. The other thing I want to tell you guys too, you know how I use, um, I use oxide inks all the time? Be careful with your paint brushes. Always keep a set of paint brushes for your oxide inks and keep another one to the side for your other colors because the oxides, they trash your brushes. They really, really do. Where did I, did I take that from that pile or that pile? Gee whiz. All right, we're just gonna pretend I took it from that pile. Okay, I want these to look sort of watercolory. Wait till you see tomorrow's layout, oh wow. Hi, Martha. How are you? Where are you from? you got to tell me where you're all from, guys. Because I'm obviously from Australia. And thanks, dude. Now we have more water. Obviously, I'm in Queen, sunny Queensland. Sunny Queensland, Australia. It's great. I love my sunny Queensland. Except for it's a bit windy today, but that's all right. I will take wind, I will take wind over, I 
I'll take wind over. Oh, we had a good storm the other night. <laughs> Hi, Jess. Yes, you're from Toowoomba. I remember that you're from Toowoomba. I am useless at remembering where people are from. Is it really windy in Toowoomba today? It's still super windy down here. And you're up. Toowoomba, guys, for anyone listening to what I'm saying, Toowoomba is west of where I live and it's... It's in the ranges, so it's um, it's up on a massive hill and it catches the wind and boy, is it cold in winter. But I love going to Toowoomba for their flower festival. Toowoomba has the most beautiful flowers. It really does. And the most gorgeous gardens. Uh, you know what? I've nearly done all my flowers in blue and green and I didn't do any pink ones. It's because I'm talking too much. Swooshing it on there. Swooshing, that's a technical term, isn't it? They said that our wind is at least 35 kilometers an hour. Our wind is 35 k's today. Jim Boomba. Hi Carmel! Hey Carmel, have you know have you been noticing that I've been putting my letters and everything on my layouts the way you told me to? It's game changer. It's so much better. Missouri, it is beautiful. I look my parents. Awesome. Oh wow. So Jess, did you get that really bad hail? The really did you get the really big stuff? I saw it going down and did Jim did Jim Boomba get any? Yeah, I have slipped up occasionally. I have. Sometimes I do it and I literally, I have like a little caramel in my ear going, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're doing it the hard way again. <laughs> I have a good chuckle when I, when I do that. Um, did Jim Boomba get that storm the other day? The, the few storms that went through? We weren't too bad. It seems to split and go around us quite a lot which, you know, is good. Is, okay, I have no idea what my girls are doing. <laughs> they are having a great chuckle. I can only imagine. <laughs> okay, I don't know what they're doing, but it's pretty funny. 44 mils of rain, okay, wow. Yeah, I got family down there. Um, my, okay. I'm just gonna say it cause you'll know where it is. So I've got a brother-in-law at Green Bank and I've got an auntie, aunt, uncle, cousins, etc. all at, I'm looking for a piece of paper, paper towel. Um, and they are out Rath Downey way. And I also have my nan and uncle at Villeneuve. So I have family down that way, so. So yeah, I know, sort of know the area. And I came from Rathdowney, so, you know. My dad was down there, my mum and dad were down there the other day, actually, visiting a man I've known my entire life, who is 99 and a half, and he is, he is doing really well. He's going downhill now, unfortunately. But Sid has always been an absolutely wonderful man. Always been. You know, when there's there's always people you look up to. Um, uh, I would love to go there, but it's not something. You know what, Martha? I didn't know if my husband would be real keen on it either. But he went and he really enjoyed it. We really liked the Japanese garden. Sorry, I'm going off on a squirrel here. Um, he went off and we, we went and saw there was a Japanese garden and it was beautiful. And I finally saw a cherry blossom tree, which I was very happy about. That just went purple and didn't stay pink because I put it in the blue. Jeez Louise. 
right. Let's rectify this problem. Windy uppy, and you're going on that mat. Let's do some pink ones, because I don't have any pink ones done. I love gelatos, why don't I use them more? So easy, and they're so pretty. I think we need some more, I reckon. The more, the merrier. Oh, gee whiz, that was my husband, I apologize. He did that as he walked around the corner, possibly forgotten that I'm on a live. Um, oh, wow, that's awesome. Man, I don't know if I, I, you know what, my husband's pretty game to go and have a look at most of my crafty craziness, whether it's whatnot. I don't know if I could get him to go to a quilting show, though. I reckon he'd probably pull up at that. He's, we're, we're the kind of people that, um, okay, I've got to get rid of that purple. I created a nice purple with my green. Um... I want to create two tones. Um, yeah, my husband and I, we went to Bathurst a few years ago and it, well, feels like it was forever ago now, but we absolutely love that. We love the V8s, like that's something that we have in common. This year's a little bit different because they've got rid of the normal Holden Fords and we've got Mustangs and Camaros, but that's all right. We had a burn bag. We had a burn ban. Okay. Is that like a um? A fire, is that what you guys call like a fire ban? So you can't, like if you're going camping or whatever, you can't use, you can't have campfires and that sort of thing. Is that what, is that what you're talking about, Ray? Our 50th is in July. Oh, wow. Congratulations. That's amazing. My mother and father-in-law i don't know if you saw the photos on facebook some of you guys may not even be on the facebook group but my youngest daughter we were down we we're down there for easter and mother-in-law you know my father-in-law's not doing so great and you know my mother-in-law's kind of struggling with it a little bit so she pulled out her wedding dress now we've never gone through her wedding dress or anything like that and having the girls down there and my youngest, Jen, believe it or not, I was absolutely blown away. My mother-in-law's wedding dress fit my 12-year-old gymna gymnast child perfectly. Like, obviously not the, right at the top and her arms were a bit shorter. But, like, she's a smaller size, but she's, her waist was the same size as my mother-in-law's waist when she got married. Absolutely blew my mind blew my mind i was just shocked i can't believe she was that tiny she's been married now for yeah the picture of her in that i had to i had to take a photo of her in it because it was just one of those moments you know and then to have a photo of her with my mother-in-law in the photo and there's one photo there where my husband and I are in our, at our wedding and obviously I'm in my wedding dress and then my husband's sister who unfortunately passed away in 2013, her wedding photo. So it was actually in the background. So that was really cute. That's something that I will definitely be scrapbooking down the track. So you will see more of that. I'm just trying to add, make these sort of more watercolory. And more, give them a bit more sort of depth by adding different colours and whatnot over it. 
that's the only thing I struggle with with the gelatos. I struggle with being able to get a good watercolour sort of look on them because there's not the depth of colour. Well, there actually is. If I would wake up, I have two colours. Jeez Louise. Unbelievable. They're nice and creamy though. These ones are for the price. So if you're an Aussie on here, I just grabbed like these Montmartre ones. They, I just grabbed them from, what shop did I get them from? Bargain Central I bought them from, which was, that's, that's as close as we get to a $2 shop, guys. And believe me, not everything in it is $2. Not even close. But, okay, give me a purple. Come on, we need to get, aha. I did pull out enough colours to get lots of different colours on here, but I just wasn't using them. Create some little bits of whatnot on here. No fireworks, no trash, burning leaves, fire pits. Yep. Yeah, we look as windy as it is here at the moment. There is no way I would be lighting any sort of fire. My friends actually went camping this Easter. They always go camp. They're, that's their thing that they do. And to be honest, they had a fire pit going and I sort of went, but they have a closed, it's very closed off and it's, they never leave it unattended and they're very responsible with what they do. But there we go. That's, that's getting a little bit more sort of depth and one may actually be a bit dark, but we'll just take a little bit off. She'll be right. Why not? That works. Now, I wanted to make these ones a little bit darker underneath. I think that needs to... I wonder if I can get, that was the darkest one I used, wasn't it? Just to add a little bit more color onto there. Tomorrow's layout, I absolutely love it. I'm actually gonna show it to you. Give me three seconds and I'll show you tomorrow's layout. This one's tomorrow's layout that's going up. Let's see, there we go. This is tomorrow's layout, isn't it gorgeous? Turned out so pretty, absolutely love it. So I'm very much in a floral mood at the moment. So, yes. so that's that one. So that's, this is going in a different sort of floral, really bright, bold floral direction. So I love, love all things floral. So did we establish who, love that? Yeah, I, I love that layout. It was one of those that was coming together because I had, I find I work a lot better if I've got no pressure on me. I know that sounds terrible, but if I've got a few videos in advance and I don't have to finish the video today and get it voiceovered and all the rest of it, I work a lot better and I just keep going and it just really adds extra to the layout, which is good. I like doing that, but now. Let me see. Bit too much. Add some more blue. Come on, blue. Do your thing. I 
wonder what it would look like if I just did that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's do that. Where's my tweezers? We all know I need my tweezers because I'm stick my big clunky fingers in there. That looks really cool. I like that. That'll look really good with the that on top. Let's do that with a few of them. Give me a purple. Need more water on the purple. And a little bit of blue on it as well. Ooh, hang on, that didn't work. Don't do that, stop. Well, actually that doesn't look too bad. Okay, happy accident and it worked. It needs more liquid. Um, I'm doing lots of florals lately too. Finish your remake. Oh, okay. My wedding album that I did, obviously I did it back in 07, 08, because that's when we got married in 07. And I have to say, the way I scrap now, I'm glad I did it back then because it's very... It's very sort of formal kind of scrapbooking, which was good. I've just worked out how we're going to add the yellow into this. Do you know how we debated the yellow earlier, Deb? I've just worked it out. I think we're going to put it on the back and then we can have some purple and some yellow. That works. Look at that. That's a pretty cool idea. We'll just do it like that. Mix these two blues together. A bit of purple. Make it more like a violet. This is so much fun. Is anyone scrapping with me or are you just watching? I sort of sometimes watch people and then sometimes I'm still not happy with this one. Oh, that's a bit better. That's a few blues. I wonder if I can... Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool because it's slightly curled up. Just watching. Awesome. I, you know what, quite often I like to just watch and then it inspires me to go off later and, you know, if I pull out some similar supplies, I then I go, oh, maybe I can do it like that. That looks cool. Now that one worked really nicely. Okay. I think we've done enough of the bluey purple, do you reckon? Let's just get rid of that blue. I swear, blue goes for days and days. Right. Now let's try some intense yellow. Let's go to town on it. For those that have just joined us, that we are using the Oh, that didn't work, did it? I didn't have a clean brush. Shall we write? We'll see what happens. It might be enough. It might be all right. Yeah, we can save that. That'll work. That'll do. I was thinking I stuffed it then, but it didn't. Just tap around the outside edge. Get some colour going. Oops. Or drop it. That works too. Why not? <laughs> oh, it's alright. I'm just reading. Reading all the comments. 
I absolutely love reading your comments, guys. Whenever you make comments on my videos, it absolutely makes my day. I I actually just tried um, for a design team. I thought I'd give it another crack, like, because I know I'm not, my scrapping style is not for everybody, you know, but I thought I'd give it another try, see if I can, you know, it was a cut file company and I didn't get it and that's okay. Look, you know, it is what it is. Some days you'll get things, some days you won't. That's fine. But I thought, oh, I really, I'm really enjoying using cut files at the moment. So, would have been really handy, but that's okay. I'll take the good, the bad, oh dear. Good, bad, and the ugly, there you go. There's an oh dear. That looked really good. Don't wreck it. I saved it. Saved it, it's okay. There we go, that looks pretty good. Hmm. Do you reckon we can get some yellow onto some of these green ones? If I turn their little petals back, I can be more specific with where I put it. That could work. Just a teensy bit on the ends. Just so I can tie in, otherwise there'll be just a couple of bits of yellow and nothing else. I wonder if I bought in, I know this is gonna go orange, but I think that's gonna be okay. I often wonder if Paige Evans does stuff like this. Do you ever think about, do you ever think about that? Do you think, I wonder wonder what how they you know because they create all those papers and designs and florals and all that sort of stuff and I often think to myself I wonder how they do it if they sit down like this and just play I imagine that's how Vicky Booten probably does her stuff just sits there and oh, you'd think I'd hang on to it wouldn't you oh that's cool the pinky orange with the yellow Happy accident. That looks pretty cute. And it just sort of sits. I think the dipping is working really well. But I do want it to be a bit more of a water cut. That actually looks like a frangipani. Ish. Okay, squint your eyes and tilt your head a bit. And it does look. <laughs> Has said she does do something like that. Yeah, I reckon, I reckon they'd have to. Because, I mean, that's how you figure out what works, hey. Don't mind me having a drink. My trusty cup. Yeah, I reckon you'd have to. Especially when you do a lot of mixed media and stuff. And this is the way I like to... Some of the things that I do, some things are intentional and I know that I'm doing it intentionally, but other times, happy accidents. Happy, happy accidents. That's pretty cool. I'm liking that. So who here likes a lot of bling on their layouts? I'm going through a bling phase. I apologize if you're not into bling, because man, my pages, oh, that's a bit dirty. Nope, don't like that. Nope, 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 not one bit. Happy accidents are one thing, but dirty brown, nope. Don't like the dirty brown. I, yeah, I've been, what colour was I putting on the tip of that? It was pink, wasn't it? We were going the frangipani look. I'm going through a really big bling phase at the moment and I'm absolutely loving. That's better. It needs to be more intentionally pink. This is something that I've been doing lately 
actually like swiping it down on the flower like that and see how it leaves like a little puddle and then as it dries my bling is growing a life of its own and it's moving over there on the shelf I haven't even touched it <laughs> something is literally literally the bags of bling are moving don't you worry don't you worry I'll get to you little fella I bought some the other day I've been buying it through Crazy Craft Obsession. That's the Pink Fresh Studio Bling. But the other day, I placed an order with Alina Crafts from... I'm doing your first crazy class today. Oh, awesome, Judy. Let me know how you go. Let me know if there's anything I can change in my class delivery that might help you. Or is it the, I mean, it's for me when I watch something and I'm going to duplicate it or replicate it or something like that, to be honest, I play it and rewind it and pause it and all that sort of thing. But I also slow down or speed up what I'm watching. Do you guys all know you can do that? I had no idea for years that you could do that. And then I figured it out and I'm like, oh, game changer. All right, I think these are pretty cool. I am not going to turn... I'm not going to turn the heat tool on because it will sound horrible for you guys. But I think we have enough dry that I can give it a crack. Let's do it. There's a couple here that are still wet, but they will dry and we'll get to them last. I'll just sit them to the side. Which ones are still wet? Feels all right, let's do it. These are so pretty, look at that. Oh, wouldn't it be cool if you could just do that on a layout? Okay, now. This is, you know, I had someone the other day say to me, how do you come up with how things go on your page? See what I just did, see that? That actually inspires me more than these stripes. <laughs> it really does. Like, that just looks... This particular one is standing out above all others. I think it needs to be diluted more. No. Nah, it is set in concrete now. Okay, he might get on the page. I'm not sure. Okay. I absolutely love how these just all fall together like this. What do you reckon? I love that. That looks so pretty. Oh my crazy child. Crazy child. And then you know what I've done? I do this all the time. These are too bold for these stripes. Never mind. We will come back to the stripes later. We will revisit those, but they are the perfect colours for Life in Bloom. Perfect for that. Okay, we didn't stray too far. Didn't stray too far. Now, with these florals, normally, I remember I used to always sort of sit them like that and curl them up. Like that. But I've had a second thought. Now I'm not going to use those stripes. I love these flowers. I love them. So I just have to find. Oop. Does everyone else have a million punches? And you use hardly any of them? Stars. I have a little flower punch. I just have to find it. 
I really do. Come on, where are you? There you are. Ha <laughs> ha. need a little bit of leftover over here. I bought this years ago because it's the exact same shape and I sometimes use this in the center. Not that I've used it. I'm wearing these guys. Literally. <laughs> Imagine where these are flying to. Get off. Okay, well, happy accident. I punched out some that were colored already. See, and then I turn these little fellas up and then they go in the center. See, what do you reckon? Maybe not a light blue on a light blue, but see? Do that. That's a winner winner chicken dinner. I don't think I have enough though. I think I need to keep punching just a few more. Uh, two rolling carts. Full of punches. I've got two Ras I've got a Rascog and I've got a just one that I got from Spotlight. And both of those are full. One has paint in it, and it's got all my paints and sort of mixed media supplies. And then I have another rascal and it is full of my stencils and my wood pieces. I hardly ever use wood pieces on, on a layout. Okay, chances are I have enough now. I think some people have left because they couldn't be bothered watching this <laughs> punch out flowers, but that's okay. To each their own. I have no issue with people jumping in, having a look, taking off. Because I'm going to sit here and scrap anyway. So, you got a big drawer of punches too, Jess. Yes. It's, I mean, it's good, but it's kind of... All right, I reckon these little guys are the bits that we needed to do yellow in the center. What do you reckon? Yay or nay? Because I think, see if you do the color, inside color, I mean, it looks okay. Come here. Green. Like that. Contrasting colour, perhaps. What do you think? Won't be able to watch. Oh, hi, Glenda. How are you? That's okay. If you can't watch, you can't stick around, that's not a drama. I will post it up to YouTube and you can come back and watch it in fast forward if you want to. Or scrap along with me later on while I do whatever. I'm going to be here. I'm going to scrap today anyway, so... It's what I do on a Monday, even though it's a public holiday, it's what I do. So what do you reckon? Do you think that looks all right? Or do you think I should, I think they need to be bright yellow in the center, you know, like the, like a stamen sort of thing. Okay, let's try doing that. Not make them perfect. But, you know, there's going to be some bits that are really bright and there's going to be some bits that are barely any colour on them. I love this little punch. I forgot all about it. Oh, I actually had a really good idea. I might even do it after this. I love doing things where I, they're not hard, but they look really Perfect is nine, nine, no, 
night here, Charleston. What's the weather like in, in Charleston at the moment, South Carolina? Glenda? That's the, th that's the one problem that I have that I discovered is a problem. I don't really know the time zones too well, so I don't want to do lives and stuff where I'm excluding people. I hate excluding people because, you know, if it's a time zone issue, I feel like I'm excluding people. But I figure if I just load it up onto YouTube, then you can pop back and watch it at any point. Anyone can do that. So I am blown away. Speaking of YouTube, oh my goodness. Chilly upper 40s. Wow. It's nice and cool here today. I'm absolutely loving it. The hot weather plays havoc with my arthritis and... My inflammation, my fibro does not like it one little bit. But it's the card we dealt. Hey, I might do some of them orange. The centers. I could pull out an orange one, but I've got pink here, so I'll just make it orange myself. Give it a tiny bit more water. Get over there. I'm trying to do these in such a way that I don't have to use my heat tool. Come here. Some of them just don't want to get coloured. They think they're above being coloured. Yes. I was just thinking, oh, that one's pretty. That looked cool. Um, what was I going to talk about? I was going to say subscribers. Subscribers, following, all that sort of bizzo. I am looking to have, for my 1,500 subscribers, I want to do a giveaway. But what I'm actually wanting to do is, again, like I said, I don't want to exclude anybody. So... I, what I've decided to do is have a cash giveaway. Now, I have to speak to um, Crazy Craft Obsession and I have to chat, have a chat with them, but I'm looking at having a cash giveaway. That way you can buy the supplies. There's no point in me just giving away supplies because you might already have them. Or it may be something that you're just not interested in. So I figure you might want to buy the latest collection. You might want to buy some watercolor pencils. You know, the distress ones. And you think to yourself, oh, I really can't afford those. But you know what? If you win the giveaway, then you'll get it for nothing. You know, that, that to me is a great idea when it comes to um, giveaways. And I did notice this one. I will check it, actually, before I say it. Could have gone down. Let me have a look. YouTube Studio. Go there. That would probably make more sense. I'm, I'm learning big time. I'm the opposite. My rheumatoid arthritis does well in the heat. Oh, wow. Yes, I have... Um, oh, okay, 1,431 subscribers. So we've only got, oh, 69 to go. Is that right? Is my maths right? Wow. I'm sorry. That's cool. I'm really excited. I'm so excited. I'm absolutely blown away that so many people like my channel. But as soon as that hits 1500, we're going to have a giveaway. And I really want it to be for the month, month of May, which is the scrapbooking. It's a scrapbooking month. And I just reckon it will be really cool. What do you reckon? I reckon that'll look really good. Let's just chuck that in there and go with it. And then we can bling it out. Let's just do it. Am I going to use art glitter glue? I've got this other, I've got this sitting here. D 
Distress Collage Medium Matte. Okay, this is a glue, but I never use it. And it's literally sitting right next to my art glitter glue. I do it all the time. And this is why I don't use it. Can you see? It doesn't come out. What am I doing wrong? I don't understand what I'm doing wrong with this thing. Now that glue's gonna play up on me. Gee whiz. It's just the day for it, isn't it? It's like, I don't know, it doesn't wanna come out. Let's see if I can get it to come out and I'll use some of that. But this is my, this is my favorite. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite one. Well. because then it will stay matte when it dries. That's pretty cool. The kids are doing something. You can hear my husband saying something to them. Don't know what's going on. Purple and yellow. I love purple and yellow. Okay, I'll get these all stuck down. What do you reckon? I don't know if I want that in the center. Oh, now I know what he's talking about. So, Joe Moore, I found your channel recently. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. That is so cool. I love when people stumble across my channel and go, and you're right, there's not, there's not that many Aussies that do it, like, that do it consistently and whatnot. I love them. What do you reckon? Do you think they look all right? Are you up to much today, Joe? I'm, I decided that I'm going to scrap, I was going to just make some videos and then I realised, no. Nah, I promised a live yesterday and it didn't happen because I didn't feel great, which, you know, we established earlier was potentially due to Easter egg consumption because I do have a couple of autoimmune issues and, ah, okay, pull it back off again. That doesn't work. Get down. There we go. That looks really cute. I just want to keep the little frondy bits up, but I love making my own ephemera, you know, things like this, because I find that part of it relaxing and fun. This one is very monotone. Why is, <laughs> why is this one so plain? Yeah, he'll probably go underneath something. She'll be right. Okay, we might make him have a green middle, seeing as he's so plain. Oh no, I'm really not liking this flower. Yeah, a little bit of housework. Yeah, I've got loads of lawn, I'm doing a load of laundry and I think my husband may be changing oil in a car maybe later today. Um, I don't know. Taylor's in the room at the moment. Taylor, what are you up to today? Doing anything exciting? Mm, possibly going to go down to the shops and see if we can get discounted Easter eggs. <laughs> discounted Easter eggs. Mm -hmm. You can give it a red hot crack. Why not? Mm. Why not? Okay, I'm just going to try and give this flower a little bit more love. It was looking a bit too one tone. There we go, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? You do watercolour flowers, they've got to be watercolour. Did you go away anywhere, Joe? I'm in Queensland, are you in Queensland or are you in New South Wales, Victoria? South Australia. I know Jill's in South Australia. 
don't even think, I don't even know if Jill's on here. Jill, are you there? Say hi if you're there. Um, Tay, can you put a post up on Facebook that I'm live on YouTube, please? On a device. Here, have this device, please. Thanks, mate. I thought you put a post up. Well, I just thought, I wasn't sure if I did or I didn't. Just in case anyone wants to come and say hi. That's because my iPad's always in here and it's always under mountains of crafty stuff. These are so pretty. Yeah. I'm loving these. I did put one up? Yeah. Cool. I love these little flowers. Okay, I don't know how that flower got coloured the way it did, but it looks really pretty. Look how pretty it looks. Hang on, I'm going to find the camera. Hold it still. Yum, yum. Isn't it pretty? Just saying. That's my... I forgot to tell you, I've been loving the class. Oh, awesome. Thanks, Glenda. I'm actually going to do another class video for later in the week. I sort of figured I would spread them out a little bit. So you've had time to, for those that are doing it immediately, you have time to get one done before the next one gets released. But they're going to stay there forever as well. Thanks, Deb. These are turning out pretty, aren't they? And they're just the El Cheapo gelatos that I got from the $2 shop so you don't always need to spend an absolute fortune and you don't that's something that I'm really I hate saying that I'm passionate about it but I really am I buy look I'm very very privileged I'm able to have the craft room and all the bits in it that I do but you can create some beautiful things without having to buy every single latest and greatest collection and you know all the stuff you don't necessarily need to do that and for people that are on a budget i like to create layouts that they can recreate that they can recreate themselves and it doesn't cost them a fortune. I mean, in this situation here, if you don't have a punch, I'm just gonna go on a little, down a little rabbit hole with you. Okay, so you don't have, say you don't have the punch, right? You could sit there, oh, my pencil is out next to the microwave. You know my favorite pencil that I use all the time? The microwave, why is it? Jen had it. She was, whoa. Ow. Okay, you can tell this one's a cheap one. But you could quite easily, what is going on with this pencil? My favorite, yes, please. This is my favourite one. I use it for everything. Do we need anything at the shops? Uh, not to my knowledge. Mm -hmm. well, I'm going to go on an Easter egg hunt. Okay, you go on an, Easter, an adult Easter egg hunt. Go for it. Mm -hmm. You could quite easily... So if you don't have a punch, this is an alternative to... I mean, you're not going to have the perfect petals, but you know that I do the rustic thing all the time. And it's a way that you can create a similar layout and all you've used is a bit of leftover scraps. And then you can just turn your flower petals up then do a smaller one, whack that in the center. And once you then turn all your petals up, 
and you've got all your colour. I'm going on a tangent, guys. Just stick with me for one second. Right? Dun, dun, dun. Okay, this is just a scrap one, right? But I'm just showing you. Like, you could quite easily do this and then just fold your leaves up, fold them all together. And if you don't have a small flower to put in the center, you could quite easily just put a, um, I mean, obviously you can put something in the center, but see what I mean? Like you don't have to have a punch to do it. You can, you can create without it. You don't have to have all the bits and pieces. Are you going to end up with a different result? Yes. A more handmade looking result? Yes. But, but, you know, each their own. Um, printing things. Yes. And that's the other, yes, you can trace around things. You can print things on your, on your printer. You could find some flowers. You could grab, um, please show me one of those gelatos. Absolutely. So these are the Montmartre ones. And they come in a packet of, I think there's about 12 or 13 of them in a packet. So that's the Montmartre brand. And that is the Faber-Castell, that's, that's how I pronounce it, I don't know, Faber-Castell, Castell, um, water gel pastels, that's what they're called. So I have two different brands, you might be able to see it written on that one better. That might be a little bit easier. So that's these little guys, I'll zoom it in a bit. There's a time delay from what I can see on YouTube and what I'm doing. So that's what they're called. And that's the Montmartre brand. And these guys are so, so cheap. Honestly, they're so cheap. I think they were like 10, 15 bucks. They weren't much at all. And I just got them from the cheap shop. So... And they don't go off either. Like, I've had those for... I actually bought these about four years ago. But they still have them now. So, they, they still have them and they still make them. So, um... I love these flowers. We have to just take this down a different path, don't we? I keep picking up the white one. Who want boring white? Who wants boring white? See, this... Does, every, does anyone else have this stuff? Because, I'm sorry, compared to the art glitter glue, this stuff is horrible. I'm probably using it wrong, but I don't like it. It seems to, like, not come down. It doesn't come down. It doesn't... I shouldn't have a hissy fit and do that, should I? I did that with... What other thing was it? I said that I didn't like... And I ate my words. The Nouveau Deluxe Glue. I ate my words after I played with it for a lot longer. And it actually turned out to be not too bad. I don't actually have any here. But I did end up using the entire bottle. And it was really good. I did really, really like it. Um, Jen's in here now. Jen, you want to say hi? Hi. She's in here going squirrel. Has Angela gone with Taylor to go on, on an Easter egg hunt? Yeah. Not sure how many more Easter eggs they need, but okay. I don't know either. I don't know why they left. Easter was yesterday. <laughs> Easter was yesterday. I think we need a contrasting colour. Oh, you take, yep. Right, I make my kids. Uh, could you spell Montmartre? Okay, so it's M O N T. Can I type something here? Let me write it here. 
M I N T M A R T E. There you go. First time I've ever done that. First time for everything, right? I really like doing lives, and I think I need to do them a little bit more often so I'm not so clunky. You know, like the. I get a little bit clunky with things. I don't sort of. Where my little flower? Yep, I am not enjoying this glue. I used it the other day and I used it like painted it on. Hey Kel, how you going? I sound so you right. I know I I, I felt terrible because yesterday I said I was coming on here and I didn't. And today I feel much better, so here I am, loud and proud. Yeah, that's better, it's a bit more contrasting. I think I've barely, you know, I was sitting here and I thought I had punched out heaps and heaps of these little flowers and I really didn't. There's not that many left over, is there? You and you and you. These are nice and bright. We're gonna put them in there. Give me some glue, you, you, you. Right, now I'm putting this back. Not a fan. I have to figure out what I'm doing wrong with it. Ranger doesn't normally, oops. Ranger doesn't normally bring out products that are ones that I would go, nah, pass. So it's probably user error. Um, okay, now we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Okay, this one's nice and bright. So this one will go in here. That works. I really like that flower. See, that's where I dragged the brush down the edge of it. No worries, Diane. Absolute. Ooh, that works. Uh, okay. Nope. We're down to brass taxes now, people. There we go. That'll work. Ta -da. Awesome! They look really cute. I like them. All right, now. Let's... Do we want... We need something... You need to sit to the side because you're still wet. I think we need something in the background. Am I right or am I wrong? That, that. We'll do the butterflies. We'll do some butterflies. Life in bloom. That's what we're going to call the page. And then I think we need to have... Of all these colors I think we need to contrast it with some black let's do some stamping stamping or stencils oh don't you hate it when your laptop plays up I was doing that the other day I was trying to watch someone crazy craft obsession I was trying to watch their video and it kept telling me and I don't I wasn't sure if anyone else had a problem with it but and it was on Facebook and I couldn't get it to play for me okay that one's not even glued down let's not argue with the dodgy glue let's just use the good one just lifting these little bits up to add texture. Is there any others here that I didn't glue down? You guys probably saw that that one wasn't glued down ages ago. I'm loving these. These look so pretty. Do you reckon we should do it through the page? Like, like that? I'm loving this diagonal thing at the moment. Or, I really liked how I had them before. 
I think they look better like that. Okay. Get over here, guys. And then we'll put the photos back there. We'll have to put a couple of them over this side. I'm gonna need a purple one. Put you over that side. Excellent. That will work. Now, I think we need some texture in the background. Like that. And then we create this and then that will create a little sort of like an arrow vibe. Cute little photos. I'm going to glue those photos together because I like how they're sitting like that. Just makes it easier to move around. And you, stencil. Let's find a stencil. I bought these stencils the other day and these are the ones that I've been playing with a lot lately. They were on Amazon and I got a bunch of them. So all of these. And they were only like 10 bucks. They weren't much at all. So, and they're just all different textures. Well, this one's trees, but. Trees, we don't really want trees. No. Do we want, I don't want stars. Hexes, water, dots. Hmm. Okay, that wasn't very successful. Didn't find anything in that lot. But never fear. I have more. I have a lot more. You know what? That could work. What's wrong with this one? You know, I do this all the time. I find a stencil that is nice and sort of generic, and I really like it. Okay. Where did my pencil go? Here it is. Okay. There. There. Just putting some pencil marks so I sort of know roughly. And get my photo out of the way because I am hopeless and guaranteed 100% I will make a big old mess of it. This has turned into my favourite modelling paste slash... I'm really liking it. I'm really liking it. It's light. It's fluffy. doesn't weigh your page down. I'm loving it. Where is my... It's the small one. Ooh, hang on. We've still got some black on here. Don't even chance using it, Karen. You know it will go everywhere. I have so many of these plastic spatulas. I have... Stacks and oodles of them, but you think I can find the one I want. See, I like the... Okay. This is what I like to use. This one, this offset one. That's wider. That's what I prefer to use. But do you think I can find the right one when I need to? Okay, we're just going to have to... This is what we're going to have to do. Move out of the way. Make sure that I have cleaned it and no black is going to come off it. I normally do all this when I don't have the video going. But, you know, it's what we do, mate. This is how we do it. We just wing it and see what happens. All right. 
Let's do it. Now these are just generic little, I think this is a Kaiser Craft stencil. I'm pretty sure. Okay. I'm not really going for flowers. I'm just more going just for texture. Otherwise it looks a bit flat in the background. I need to get some more of this. I don't really use a lot every time I use it, but it's been going for a while. And somewhere about here, we'll need some as well to kind of poke out from behind those flowers. work salvage that off there and see that's what happened and then I forget to go back and wash it but the one thing I never forget to do is save my stencils if ever you use texture paste mate do this as soon as you're finished because otherwise you just destroy your stencils because they will never ever come clean and that's how I do it instead of getting up and running to the other end of the house and cleaning them up and blah 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 and it works a treat for me there is a little bit stuck in it. See, that's how quickly that stuff dries. You can see a little bit stuck in it, but it's okay. Probably more so for the fact that I usually have a spray on the back of it and holds it down, which is awesome. Okay, now, and it dries pretty quick. Here in Queensland, when it's nice and Nice and sunny. Now I want this life in bloom. I'm going to do some of these rub-ons. I need some sort of stamp or something in the background. I need just some, just a stamp, line marking stamp. One of these little puppies. That's what we need. This is a Finnebear clear stamp. Um, and it is called Secret Notes. If you're after any of these at the moment, Crazy Craft Obsession have a little bit of a sale on them this Easter weekend. Now... When I do like line marking stamping, I don't actually put my stamp on a block or anything. I just do it like this. Just doing sort of second generation stamping on here and it's over the texture paste because I didn't want the texture paste to to take away from it there we go a little bit of extra interest in the background 
and the flowers are going to cover that so don't like always I always err on the side of caution and I don't I don't put heaps and heaps down but the amount that gets covered by your flowers or your all your other bits and pieces um yeah okay I'm trying not to turn on my heat tool because I don't know if it perfect see that's dry already that that was real time so and my photos go miss marble raise it up on some foam so This is just craft foam. I get this from um, Spotlight. I was really disappointed in the last two packs that I got though, because it's real hit and miss with the sticky on the back. Sometimes it's good, like this sheet seems to be fine, but most of the other sheets, it hasn't. Oh, you think I could do this? See, if it wasn't live, this would have just torn perfectly for me. stuck to my scissors right little monkey now the one thing I want to do is add some color to the background but do we want it to be the same colors that we've used on here as in yeah you know what of course we want the same colors it'll make it match we could do some yellow and purple. Let's do yellow and purple. Yellow, purple, teal. And we'll do a lilac. Okay, let's do that. All right. Move that out of the way for a minute. Grab some plastic. It's just leftover rubbish. That's all I use. And I'm just going to... Now these colours are going to mix and blend and do all good things on here. I love it when they just all blend together and look awesome. Now, I used VersaFine Onyx Black Ink before, and it's, it holds up really well when I'm doing this sort of thing. I don't normally have much of a problem with it. Now, I'm just, I'm not trying to create any specific look. I'm just looking for a bit of color on the background. That's it. And it'll just help everything pop off the page. And <laughs> okay, see how it's just adding a little bit of color. It's not, I apologize for the dinging it's my nephew trying to message me. It's nothing important. Apparently he just bought a fish. He's just, <laughs> he's 18 and he bought a fish. He's a funny kid. Sometimes he's funny, funny, funny and sometimes he's stressful. 
be loving me either way though. Okay, I just want to get... I don't want it to be an entire splotch on there. If that makes sense. So if I put some spatters on there and then turn it over... It's more like the little splatters that I like. So you can still get the same effect that you would normally have like with the Distress Watercolors or the Distress Oxides or anything like that. Actually, I should show you something I discovered the other day. While well, I was just playing, because you know, it's what I do. And, um, I was playing around with my Distress Oxide sprays and I thought to myself, I thought, I've got to think of a different way that I can use these. Like, what can I do that's different with these oxides? And while this is drying, I'll show you. Not that it's going to take very long. There we go. I like that. See how it's, it's watercolory? It's not super duper intense. Now, do we want a little bit of yellow in the background? I think we do. We want yellow, but like the green, I want spatters. So I'm just splatting them onto the plastic and then I can put them where I want them. I have a real issue with splatters coming in last and destroying my page. I have, a, I have a real problem with that. I know some people can do it and they just get it perfect every single time. But I'm all about evolving into a way that I like the process. I like, I love the result, but I want a more controlled way of doing it. <laughs> yes, I have OCD. FYI. Yes. I have OCD. But, so see, you're being splattered on there and it, it's more controlled. I know where the splats are going to land because they go exactly where I tell them to. That's pretty cool. Awesome. That's pretty cool. Now, I'm going to show you something while that dries. This is a side note. This is an added extra. Have a look at what I discovered. Here's just a scrap piece. This has absolutely nothing to do with the layout we're working on. But, the other day I was playing with my Distress Inks, right? So I was looking at my Distress Inks. Now I will find a colour that I have in Abandoned Coral. There we go. Abandoned Coral, Abandoned Coral, right? Now, and obviously we have it in... Dun, 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 dun. Grab it off the shelf. Where is it? Abandoned Coral. Okay. So you look at these and they're all the same, right? But... I thought about it and I thought, how do I get these, how do I do something different with them, right? So that's what the Distress Oxide looks like on paper, real time, no tricks. This is what the Distress Ink looks like, real time, no jokes, okay? So the Oxide has the dye as well as the pigment ink in it. So it stays wetter longer and you can add um, embossing powders and stuff on top of it and you don't need an extra sticky something with it. Distress ink is transparent and not really buildable. This is buildable. It, this is buildable. You can go over the top like a watercolor, but this one literally goes over the top of another color, right? Then I looked at my oxide spray. Obviously an oxide spray is gonna give you the same effect. But before I shook it up, 
I had them sitting next to me and I noticed that you've got all this on top. Now, what color do you get? This is before you shake it, so don't shake it, just to see what comes out of it. Because I was looking at getting all the distress, um, what are they called? Stains. So then I pulled out without shaking it, just the liquid that's in there, not the oxide, like it's obviously an oxide, but I thought, you know what? It's slightly lighter if you don't shake it up. And then you've got, literally got a two for one deal. And I do have bearings in, ball bearings in here in a second. It will slowly And then once you shake it up, you can see it's all creamy because it's got a, all the goodness mixed into it. And then you get that. So the spray actually gives you two different effects. So if you're looking at a budget side of, you know, the budget side, obviously you can't stamp with a spray, right? But you literally get almost like a, an extra, it's, it's a stain, so to speak. I just thought it was interesting. So I'm gonna have a play with that. You never know, it might work. It might be something that I end up using on a layout somewhere, but I figured it just gives you a different look. You know, I'll just take that off so it's not. So you don't have the oxide side of it, and see, it's a slightly different color to that one. It's the same color, but it's not as oxidized. So yeah, that was something I was playing with the other day. Just thought I'd share that with you. If you have oxides, have a play. You never know. It might be something that you like the look of. So now I will just move these out of the way. I always make sure that I put everything back exactly where it's supposed to go because when I'm creating layouts, there's nothing worse than not knowing where everything is. Now I'm just making sure I don't have any oxide on me anywhere. Because guaranteed I will muff it up. I'm really liking the look of that. Now, before I glue all this down, I'm going to do a border color. Do you think we should do the green and the dark blue? The teal and the dark blue? Yep, okay, deal. Love the way that, yeah. That, honestly, splattering like that is way more controlled, Kel. Yeah, the spl I look, I love splatters. I do. I love them. I really do. But yes, Gail, they are the rub-ons from Crazy Craft Obsession. They're the ones I got this month. I absolutely love them. And I love splatters and I watch people and they can splat up perfectly every single time. But I hate the uncontrolled element of it. And that's why I, I do it the way I do it because I think it's just more controlled and I, I hate getting to this part of my layout and then wrecking it with splatters or whatever. That's just me. But let's see if I can get the yellow out of this brush, seeing as my helper disappeared on me. Okay, now we're just gonna do a watercolored border with the gelatos. This just saves the bulk in your album as well, so. And it's not perfect, it's just, it's just a nice border. I like when you go over it a second time, you can add, just add a little bit more depth to it. 
Sometimes I do a really thick border, sometimes I do a really thin border. I did pull black out thinking I might do a black border on it. Still might. What do you reckon? Do you think I should do a black border on it? Or are you enjoying the wispy, whimsy watercolour look? Confession, you've never splattered. Oh, don't you worry. It takes every ounce of my anxiety to sit in the back seat for me to do it too. Because I just found that so many people do it. So, so many do it, which is great for them. But I, I don't like the fact that you could come in right at the very last minute and totally just trash your whole page because your splatters land in the wrong spot. I'm just going around a second time with mixing a little bit of that blue gelato in with the teal colour and just to give it a bit more interest. Yeah, I don't think about the makes you feel any better um, yeah it's I, I don't like the idea that I could just absolutely destroy my layout at the last I mean look I always say it's just paper you can replace it you can do whatever with it but it still costs money you know no black okay deal we won't do black we'll leave the black right where it is I think the watercolour is coming out nice. If I get it around the right way. Oh, I like that. I really like that. I sound shocked, don't I? Just like you, sometimes I have no idea what I'm doing and it's the blind leading the blind and I'm just going for it and giving it a, giving it a crack. Carry on. Who are you? I, what's, your, what's your name? Is it, is it Carrie? No. Carry on. No black. I like that idea. I love these flowers. Now, if you weren't here when I started, this is how this page came together and took a different turn. I did that. Just chucked them on there and they turned out perfect. I can smell something burning. Honey, is there something burning outside? Can you smell it? Okay, I know I want this dark one down here somewhere. That looks really cute. Not sure that I like, I know I keep <laughs> messing with that guy, but I'm not confident that I like him. Okay, time to start curling up some edges here. Now I do this all different ways. Sometimes I just bend it with my fingers, just sort of grab some extra texture like that. You can sort of turn this particular petal punch for those that have just joined. This is the one that I'm using it's a EK, I've had it for a million years, but I know you can still get it. And it's just a flower punch and it's really nice. And like, I mean, I paid $23 for it 15 years ago. How much it is now, I've got no idea, but. But, you know, it works well. If you've got a cricket. I'm from Canada. Oh man, I would love to go to Canada. If I wasn't petrified of flying, I would go to Canada. I would go to New Zealand. I would go to Canada. I would love to go to Italy. Where else would I like to go? Um, Montana. See, it, it is depicted, okay. It is depicted to us Aussies 
as very picturesque and um, Canada just you'd love to go to Australia I'll trade you we'll go to your place and you come to my place um, it Canada snow that honey can you bring your mum please <laughs> sorry that's my mother-in-law calling me but I'm using my phone so um yeah I'm not ignoring my mother-in-law I love her dearly however I'm on a live so you know scrappy time these look really cute I'm just folding them up so that um, they have a bit more depth to them. And then I'm going to pull out the bling. My bling. I'll show you all my bling. don't think they all need to be curled up. And, but I like it to have the depth, which is good. See, then it'll have that in the background, but you'll have these ones more in the front. That'll work. Look at that. It's coming together. <laughs> New Zealand is so nuts. I know. I honestly, um, my dream trips, New Zealand, Australia, UK, Sweden, Japan, Switzerland is one I look. I can't ski for any, I've never been skiing. I've never seen the snow. We do get snow down south. Um, Tassie gets snow. Um, and Blue Mountains, they get snow. We've never been, I, I say we. I've never been with the kids, but my husband used to ski. And he had a ski boat, all that sort of stuff. You know, put anything under his feet and he's fine. A bit like Jen. They can do anything. Me, on the other hand, put wheels under my feet and <laughs> I, I end up looking like a yibbity yibbita and I land on my butt. I caught you live. Yay. Hi, Beck. How you going? I'm honestly, I'm just cruising and I'm just creating pages and chit-chatting away because why not? It's a public holiday somewhere. Well, I know it is still in Australia. So I figured today people might be kicking back and they've had their Easter and they might want to just sit and have a scrap and a chat. What do we got there? I got a scrap trip to New Zealand. Oh yeah, they went zorbing. What's zorbing? And so, oh yeah, Hobbletown. I would so love to see that. Although, I tell you what, a few years ago, I say a few years ago, um, Christchurch, when they had their massive earthquake, whew, it was a bit scary. I mean, it could happen anywhere, I suppose, but Christchurch is a little bit more susceptible to it. I didn't realise how many flowers I did, everyone. Oh, look at that. That looks really cute. I'm really liking this. Really, really liking it. It's turning out pretty. So who's inspiring you on... We don't get a public holiday for Easter. Oh, really? Oh, you got ripped off. We get... Um, Good Friday is... Everything's closed here in Australia. And, well, I'll speak Queensland because I'm not sure if every single state gets the same deal. But Friday is Good Friday, everything's closed, public holiday. And then Easter Monday is a public holiday. That's why my husband's home. Um, my kids are still on school holidays for the rest of the week. And then they go back to school on, is it the Monday or the Tuesday? Some, some terms they go back on the Monday and some terms they go back on the Tuesday. I think it's the Monday. If 
but my kids got really good results this last term. So I'm super, super happy about that. Got good kids. They like school, which is fantastic. Taylor was not a fan of school. She, unfortunately, being Asperger's, she struggles to make friends and she struggles, she can't read people very well. So, you know, kids being sarcastic to her didn't sit very well, which was a little annoying. Didn't make high school the funnest time for her, I'm afraid. There we go. That's looking pretty cute. And then we put the, f see, once we put the, that there so you just see how you're just seeing a little bit of the text now oh hang on I forgot one can't forget the good ones that are the pretty colors dun 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 let's put you in here somewhere I need how certain colours combined. Certain colours combined work near each other. There we go. That looks all right, eh? They look really cute. I like them. Let me know if you reckon it works. I think he's got to go. I think he's a dud. Get rid of that bit. Okay, so we are going to title it Life... Do, 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 do. Come on. Life in Bloom. Where are we going to put the title? Originally, I thought I was going to pop it over this side. Sort of having it like that. But I think it's sort of... All right, help. I need... Oh. I need to read these. Okay. One, two, or three. Let me know. I need help with that. I'm hopeless. Uh, I fell in love with New Zealand. The Whale Rider. Victoria, Good Friday. Everything's closed. Yep. Uh, our IGA is still open. Yep. Wow. There are a few traveling amongst us. Yes. Ohio. Yeah, you know what? Ohio, I really, I'd like to go there too. And Pennsylvania is another one that I'd like to go to. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yes. Grand Old Opry. I would love to go there. I have a bit of a soft spot for country music. So three. Yeah, I think that's what I was thinking because I thought there, but I think three. Three? We're going with three. Okay. We're going with three. Putting it down. But it needs to be raised up. Hang on. We have an extra bit in the center there. You know what I love about the simple stories? Three, everyone's agreeing three. Yep. Um... Okay, it needs to be raised up. So now, let me find some. These simple stories, holy moly, they are amazing with their sticky stuff. It is like the stickiest stickers. They're, ama they're so good. If you've never ever bought any of the simple stories, and the other thing was Cartabella. They're the same. Yep, I think we're definitely going with three. Please go straight. Because there is definitely no getting you back off. Woo! It heard me. It went the right way. Okay. These are my strips that I get. I absolutely love these things. But there's no removing them once they go down. And especially going on the simple stories bit. Not a chance. You won't get them back off again. So. Lots and lots of travellers, hey. Oh, come on. Why do you always do that when I'm recording? Fruit. 
chance. I need to raise you up, dude. No, that'll be up there. Down there. I'm getting there. I want to just cut these strips down. Okay, this is going to be fun. Watch this. Go straight, go straight, go straight. It's a bit of a bit of a hold your tongue right situation. Okay. That 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 and this one. Right. Okay. We get one shot at this. When this goes down, there is no moving it. So let's hope. Let's hope I get it straight. You know what's wrong with my tweezers? They've got glue all over them. Where's my other ones? I always have two pairs of tweezers on the go. One usually ends up gumped up. I use a nail file to get it off, don't panic. Charleston, Savannah, Georgia. You know what? I never knew anything about Savannah, Georgia. I used to watch this lady on YouTube. I mean, I'm talking, my kids were little, okay. Uh, love Meg. And they ended up moving to Savannah, Georgia. I don't know what she's doing now. I haven't been following her. But um, when she moved to Savannah, Georgia, I thought, oh, that just looks gorgeous. It just really looked pretty. So I would tend to agree with that. Okay, we get one shot, guys. Pray for me. I haven't glued them down. You are kidding me, Karen. Really? All right. Oh, no. Oh, dear. See, even I do stupid things like that. Okay. Stop dreaming about Savannah, Georgia. And you know how in a video the other day I said I have to fill up my glue? Guess what? I still have not filled up my glue. And I'm squeezing the daylights out of it. Right on the O. That goes down. Okay, now try again. Okay, it has to be in the right spot because guess what? It's not coming back up. Okay, now move these flowers over. Now let's glue these down. Let's just start. We'll just start gluing them down. This is the fun bit. I love this bit. Where it all comes together. I think it needs some glitter. What do you reckon? Some glitter, some shine, some bling. Oh, Karen, fill your glue cup. Okay. Worst thing to have to do in the middle of a live, but guess what? I have reached the point <laughs> of no return. I have no choice. I have to fill up my glue. <laughs> I have to fill up my glue bottle. This is the Art Glitter Glue. I buy it in giant bottles like this. Because I love it. It holds everything but the kitchen sink. But I like the little tiny... <laughs> this is... See, I'm my own worst enemy, right? I actually bought the next size up bottle thinking I wouldn't have to fill it up so much. Right? But I prefer the little tiny one. <laughs> I'm my own worst enemy. I really am. Okay, back to what I was doing. See, it doesn't take that long. I'm just, don't want to do it. It's boring. I don't want to do the boring stuff. Who wants to do the boring stuff? Glue you down. You needed a bit more glue because there was just none coming out. 
Now, the good thing about Art Glitter Glue, if you've never used it, you don't need much. They hold down so much. Like, they, it holds down metal. It holds down all the bits. All the bits of everything. It's so good. But I have to put all these little guys down. So then I can bring in some extra, some extras. You know, the, this is my, you know how the other day I was saying, yeah, the smaller bottle, that's why I use the smaller bottle too. Yes, I, I prefer the smaller bottle. It just, I find, I know, I know this is in my head because I've got to be dreaming it, but I feel like the plastic is softer in the smaller bottle and it doesn't hurt your hands as much. I think it's so good. So here's everyone watching for um, inspiration lately. I always like to find out who everyone's watching to, you know, so I can find, because I watch people too. Not many, most people don't scrap the way I do, but still enjoy watching them. My latest person that I have been watching, well, I've actually watched all of her videos and I have no more to watch. Sarah Millerhouse, she's really good. Very, very inspiring. And she sort of gave me the confidence to just go for it with colour. Um, you know, like don't, don't hold back with color and it's been really good. There we go. I think they're all down. Did I miss any? I didn't miss any. Woohoo. There we go, guys. What do you reckon? Okay. I've got very little time to move any, if any time. I like that. Okay, let's add some nice bits. Some cute bits. Robins. I want the butterflies. Hang on, I have to. I put them together wrong. Whoops. That one. And, uh oh, uh oh. that one right I love these butterflies how pretty are these butterflies that big pink one's got to got to go on there what do you think it's too big I don't think it's too big You watch too many. Yes, I watch too many too. Laura Albert, state goddess. Yes, she's finally moved and she's finally getting into her craft room, which is good. She's off that kitchen bench. See, I watch her too. Like I said, they all, everyone scraps differently. So it's, you know, when it comes to watching other people it just depends what inspires you on the day let's cut the piece of paper that was between them where's one of my little plasticky now this is going to be a little bit of trial and error when it comes to going over the texture paste let's have a look and see what will happen I don't normally put it over texture paste but we can see if it's going to go down I'll make the mistake so you don't how about that if it turns out to be a mistake I'm rubbing the daylights out of it to see if I can get it to all go down
Oh, look at that. Almost. Just one teeny tiny bit. Which is me, and it had nothing to do with the texture paste. Oh, yeah, it went down. It went on. I hope my head wasn't in the way there. I stopped working nearly seven years ago. Disability. You know what, Deb? I, I actually, little known fact, last week I was a bit down in the dumps because unfortunately the company that I have been working for in a very, very small capacity, they have unfortunately um, had to downsize just life, you know. And unfortunately, this is my last week of work. So I feel, yeah, to be completely honest, you know, it sort of hit me out of left field. Look at that. That's like the perfect color. It totally matched perfectly. See, you don't always necessarily need all the new stuff. The old stuff matches too. And everything goes around in circles. It always comes back new again, like rub-ons. I remember when rub-ons were massive a few years ago and then they sort of disappeared. And now they're back, baby. Literally, as I'm using them right now. So yes, but yeah, it's all right, Deb. Unfortunately, it's just life. Just means I have to tighten the belt buckles a little bit. But that's all right. My husband works full time. He's amazing. He does, keeps everything going. But it was a little bit of a left I mean, it, it happens to everybody at some stage. And especially over the last couple of years. You know, really, I've probably got nothing to complain about whatsoever compared to other people. But just with the interest rates going up, what's... Okay, here you go. I want to know this. Overseas, how's money going over there? Like, have you had interest rate hikes? Have you... What's it, what's it like for you guys? Because over here... We have had our RBA, which is our reserve bank, they have increased our cash percentage to the point of, personally, I'm going to say it's ridiculous, but that's because I'm a homeowner and it costs me every time they do it. But we have had so many price hikes. It's just nuts. I've got a little tiny flower on here. I don't want to lose it. So I'm just going to pop it in there. It'll just look like a little piece of watercolour in the background. But it's a little flower. So, oh, that is looking so cute. I love these butterflies. I love butterflies. Did I mention I love butterflies? Now, I do want some more three-dimensional butterflies. So this is where... I'm going to use my, do I have any scrap? I have a box sitting next to me that I just like drop my scraps into. Where is my tracing paper? There it is. This is my little trick when I'm wanting to use something. Need a little scrap of it. This way I can just do them sort of more 3D and I can lift their little wings up. Tracing paper is so good. It's such a cheaper form of vellum. I've never had a lot of dollars. Yeah, I look, I gotta be honest, I have learnt Learned the art of saving here, there, and everywhere. So, 
it's it's a good thing that I've learnt how to do it because sometimes things happen and you just have to take the good with the bad. So I want some of these smaller butterflies. Come on, don't fall apart on me now. Okay, let's try these ones. I'm making one awful mess here. I don't normally do that. I normally try and keep everything just right. Otherwise, it's a heck of a clean up at the end. Oh no, that's no good. I, I'll be honest, I'm, I pushed myself to be able to do that. And my husband's the one that tells me like, don't work, don't. Like, that's why I wanted to get in and do my YouTube and you know, get the channel going and stuff because I need that social element of working, but physically to, you know, maybe work in a, a shop or stand on my feet all day, I just physically couldn't do it. So I try, I try really hard, but just unfortunately when when you've got autoimmune diseases that feel the need to take over, you just don't have the best luck, I'm afraid. This pink one doesn't want to stick down. Okay, how'd you go? A little green one and a little yellow one. Awesome. Yeah, I was trying, I wasn't going to say anything. I wasn't going to put it in a video or anything, but I was trying to just, it definitely knocked the wind out of my sails last week. That's for sure. I was having a bit of a hard one, but good news is it will give me more time for my channel and the best news that I could have in a very long time is my best friend, it's coming down next weekend and I get to spend all of Sunday my family and her partner and one of her daughters is coming down so I will get to spend we're gonna to go to the beach it's gonna be so good not that I can sit in the Sun but I'm gonna to go to the beach get some fish and chips kids can have a swim if they want to It'll be just their luck though. They'll be so annoyed if it's really cold. <laughs> so, but that's all right. So my bestie, she lives, she, you, you see her sometimes pop up on Facebook or whatever. Um, and she lives in Mackay now. And yeah, we've been best friends for years and years and years and years. So when you get rub-ons, don't think that you can't, you know, create them, 3D embellishments with them, because you really can. And this is what I'm just, just cutting out now. I'm trying not to take forever because, you know, watching someone fussy cut is pretty boring. Unfortunately, there's no way around doing it. When you're not editing a video or whatever. I just love butterflies. I know some people can't stand them. My 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 middle child, yeah, my middle child Angela, she is petrified of birds. You should see it. It is hilarious. She never used to be so scared of them, but in the afternoons like after footy training because the sun's gone down, the birds are all roosting in the trees in and around the in and around the where the cars are parked at the football field oh man you should see her it cracks me up it's 
pretty funny. Everything's, yeah, tri oh. It's so frustrating. Like, how, how are people, I know, look, I know the depression and all that sort of thing, you know, the Great Depression, I, I know they survived it. I'm just wondering how societies, how society now is going to cope if this just keeps going up and up and up. And I know that they're saying it's all, all because of the war. I'm just going to word it like that so that nothing gets flagged. But, you know, unfortunately, it's kind of out of our control, which is, I hate that. <laughs> I hate things that are not controlled. You use tracing paper more than vellum also. Yes, it's so much cheaper. And you can get it so dirt cheap. Works a treat, I tell you. Works a treat. Okay, let's get these little butterflies on. Now. So I just hold my tweezers like that and just like fold their little wings up. Oops, my glue's having a moment. Or as my kids would say, 12% of a moment. We're Marvel fans, just in case you don't know that. I wanted to put these little little butterflies in like that. I've overfilled the glue. I knew I would do that. This is what happens. I take forever to fill up the glue. And then when I do it, I overfill it because I'm like, well, I'm not coming back to do this again. Go down, Mr. Butterfly. I'll just get him to... This is so relaxing. Bye, Diane. Chat to you again soon. I don't mind if people have to duck off and do... Because it's different times everywhere, so... It's really hard for me to try and find a time when... I'm in a creative mindset. And... Working in and around meal times and all that sort of thing. Come on, butterfly. There we go. It's so pretty. I've just realized I put that butterfly next to that butterfly and they're the same. That's okay. It'll be fine. Whoa. It's like you just wanted to go there, hey? Oh, and again. Fine. If that's where you want to go, that's where you can go. They're so pretty. I swear this stuff is just gorgeous. I could just put it all on one layer. Which I will not, but I could. Okay. I am going to slip these back into the packet because it's so windy. It'll be just my luck. It'll be just my luck. Everything will go everywhere. I really want that one on there. Do you think I should do it? I reckon it'd go really nice there. Going for a walk, that sounds nice. Yep, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, let's do it. I'm 
doing it. I'm just doing it. I just think it's the perfect colour. And this is just the perfect little... And then I'm flipping these in here and I'm not... Not doing any more rub-ons on this layer. Beautiful. Okay, where did I put the rest of that tissue paper? I bet you I threw it in the bin. Or it's stuck on me somewhere. It's okay. The book is right here. This is the tissue paper I use, by the way. Tracing paper. Come on, Mr. Butterfly. I think you will be very pretty on this layout. Thanks, Kel. I think it's going to be a great idea. I think it's beautiful. What's everyone having for dinner tonight? If it's, it's lunchtime here, I think. It's getting close to lunchtime. What's the time? Oh, it's one o'clock. Wow, I've been on here a while, eh? Girls are still Chris, uh, Easter egg shopping, so... They must be finding some. Not that they need any more chocolate. I just love this butterfly. It's such a beautiful colour. Someone's doing some yard work outside. We had ham, mashed potatoes and corn. Oh, it sounds so good traditional Easter dinner. Oh, because it, it'll be Easter Sunday over there, hey. That's one of my dogs. I apologize. Oh, and there's another one. Don't worry, there'll be a quartet going on in a minute. It's probably just Taylor coming home and because she's opening the gate. So, Coco is our foxy, our miniature foxy. She's the one we've had the longest amount of time. And she's awesome. We love her. She lets us know if anyone's around. There you go, Mr. Butterfly. I think you will look very pretty over that side. Oh, maybe not. Maybe, oh. I think it might look nice there. 8.51 here. Awesome. You like it there, Deb? You reckon it needs to go over there? I think it needs to go over there. I agree. I think over here would look better. Flying that way. That works. Let's do it. Let's just commit. Power scrap style. Just do it. Don't think about it. Okay, come on. Cooperation would be essential about now. Just got to wait for it to grab and it will work. My daughter Taylor will be cooking tonight, so it's in her hands. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Maybe I should say that to my girls. My kids actually are really, really good at getting in the kitchen for me. And they jump in and they do stuff all the time for me, which is brilliant. They need to get in and do some baking. Some baking, bake some yummy bits and pieces. I don't think I want any of the other stuff that's a bit vintagey. I think we've gone in a direction that doesn't, it's not necessarily super vintage. So I think all of these, other than the title, I think we'll leave those bits. Let's add the bling and see if it needs anything extra. Let's add bling. When I bought bling the other day, I put it all into these containers 
Okay, this is not all of it, but I may or may not have gone a little overboard, but I bought a packet of each color and some of the colors I doubled up on. So I've transferred some out of these bags into here for, look, I just love bling. I just love it. That's the stuff I bought from AliExpress. Now, all of that being said, I have also been on a bit of a Pink Fresh Studio shop as well. These are divine. Some of them were sent to me from Bobby Johnson. She sent me a heap for Christmas, which was unbelievable, and I absolutely loved them. And these matte gold ones, they're just, oh, they're stunning. So I love these ones too. I do have more up there, but you know. But these are my little ones that I absolutely love. Now, what color do we want to add to these guys? Thunder starting. Ooh, storm incoming, Cal. There's a low down off the southeast coast. They were saying yesterday there was a, a low low pressure, something or other, and it was sort of, you know, it was in between you guys and us, and it was creating the cool trough that was coming through with us. I'm okay with the cool trough. Totally fine with it, because it means that I'm going to be nice and cool and I don't need the air conditioning. All right, we need to put bling in the middle of these flowers. I think we're going to use colour. Let's do colour instead of blank. There you go. If I do it like that, you can see all the bling. Grab my little tray because I love my little trays. These things are so good. I had no idea. It was just by pure accident. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> a little overboard. A little overboard. Hey, you know what? Seriously, it actually cost me for that entire massive pack. So, for all of these, right? And I mean, there's stacks of them. I have filled up these. I've still got all this left. I could fill these up. I worked out I can fill these up six times with each packet. And it cost me $93 Australian delivered. And I received it in two weeks. And that was from Alina Crafts on AliExpress. So for someone that really, really, really likes adding lots and lots of bling, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a deal. It's a bit of a bargain. Okay, what yellow do we want? But I don't like these containers. Deb, don't buy these containers. You want to know why? Because oh, it kills your hands getting them open. Okay, I'm not sure if that colour is going to be too yellow. Maybe not. I think I like the darker yellow though. They're pretty bright, but I think I prefer this colour. Here we go. Some of them open easily and some of them don't open hardly at all. We will add lots of bling and... Where is my chair? I swear, I need a new chair. I need to start a GoFundMe to buy a new chair. <laughs> oh, jeez. Where's my pencil? Found it. You should see the nightmare that's right next to me over here, over in this zone. It's a little bit of a nightmare. Okay. Add me some glue down and then I can bling this pencil. This was the best 
the best thing that came with some cheap nail art bling that I bought, which I still use. I say cheap because I ordered it because it was cheap. And um, it came with this little wax pencil. Oh, it's a game changer when it comes to fiddling around with little bits of bling. I have that other black tipped one that I used to I used to use this all the time, this one, but I find the tip of it doesn't, um, like it's not as, like you clean it off, but, oh, it's going to work now because it's going to make a liar out of me. But see, you can't get it off and then, see, it leaves the black wax on it. And I'm sorry, that's annoying. So when I got this little, this little pencil, it solved a lot of problems. It was great. Okay, I've already done those. Jeez. Did that while I was waffling. And these little trays are so good. Because see how they're like that? You do that and they roll up the side and flip over. So good. Another yellow one over there. Just got to find the yellow ones. Got to go. Okay, thanks so much, Ray. Thanks for stopping by. I'll chat to you soon. Cool, yeah, cooler the better, all right. Absolutely. I absolutely hate it when it's hot and sticky and humid. Ugh. Three words I hate. Hot, sticky and humid. A lot of people say to me, um, a lot of people say to me, why do you live in Queensland? Of course it's hot and humid and sticky. Because I've always lived in Queensland and it just is what it is. I just have to suck it up. Okay. I need some sort of orange. That sort of was my orange, wasn't it? I don't have an orange. What am I going to put there? I could do... That kind of is the only orange. It's the yellow goldy orange color. I wonder what it would look like if I used a red. No. What was that conversation? <laughs> Why was I even thinking that was going to work? It's not going to work. I'll go white. I rarely use white, but so, so pretty. I love all the bling. I find with these, they're a color underneath, but they reflect the color that they're next to. Oh, over glued that one. No. I just realized I have the blue color. What's the chance I'll be able to grab one going in like this? Well, I got one. That's better. Hey, Jen. Hi. I'm still going. Close the door. <laughs> That's just my craft room door getting shut. That looks pretty. I love all the prettiness.
so so pretty okay now I just want to add some bits here and there but I'll just do the white because then it'll just reflect whatever color you want on there like see it sort of reflects the butterfly and you just got to add a little bit of bling here and there I like creating the reflection whether it's foil whether it's bling like this or and I like the liquid pearls as well but I like using the liquid pearls with it so it's you sort of get, because liquid pearls is, it's dimensional, but it's really shiny as well. So Cal, are you three hours in front of me? I snagged a new chair from work. Oh, that would be so good. I would, I would love a new chair because it's the one thing that squeaks every time I'm doing my voiceover. I have to try and sit still so it doesn't squeak in the background. Unless I'm doing my voiceover in the AFL car park. When the kids are, when Angela's training, sometimes I do that. It's pretty funny the first time I did it though. People were looking at me a little odd. I thought it was a little bit weird. But I will have more time up my sleeve now. So I should be all good. That's looking pretty good. I'm really happy with that. Oh, I missed one there. I always do that. I get to the end and I'm like, oh, hang on, missed a bit. Missed a bit. I cannot wait for the new Cocoa Vanilla to come out. The new, um, what's it called? The new Cocoa Vanilla um, collection. I'm trying to think what it's called. I can't think of it off the top of my head. But it goes with these colours beautifully. I can't wait. Angel. Is that Angela or me? That's Angela, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Jen's just come into the room. Say hi to them so that they know that you're there. Hi. I have a dog in here too. Gizmo. Hey, Giz. Hey, buddy. And Lexi. Oh, and Lex. Lex is always near me. Okay, I really Giz. like those now. That was loud. Yeah, I'm putting these back in here so that I don't spill them all over the joint because don't you worry, mate, I will. Now I want to come in with a little bit more dimension. Let's have a look and see. Oh, that's the perfect colour, isn't it? That one's beautiful. Mm, not feeling it. Nice platinum silver. That's pretty too. I might. Coral, no. We'll just add a little bit of all of it. What do you reckon? Kel said hi, Jen.
That's cute. This is fun. Sorry, I'm like silent. That's not real crash art, is it? Forget that I'm actually live. This just adds a little bit more bling. A bit more shine, a bit more texture. Have to spin it around because otherwise I'm going to get it. In spots I don't really want it. I might do some down this butterfly as well. to make them look a little bit more blingy. Now. I want to do marigold, that might work. Perfect. Getting there. Yeah, I'm, you know what, Joe? I'm like that too. I, sometimes I'm a slow scrapper. This is probably, well, real time, I suppose. It's kind of, sometimes I can scrap at a reasonable pace, but if I'm doing it, if I make my mind up and I decide, right, I'm going to do a power scrap, just make the decision, don't second guess yourself and just put it out there. Then it's not too bad. But I struggle when, like before, when I said, where do I put this title? Sometimes I do that and it's so incredibly annoying because it just slows the whole process down. And there's no need to stew on it, like really. I mean, you're not saving world hunger you know, but it's okay. We do what we do. Oh, that's perfect. Exactly the right color. I like these because they're really quite cheap for what you get you know like you really do get bang for buck so see the black stamping that we did it's not really standing out it's not in your face it's not over the top there goes my door jen didn't latch it back that's okay wasn't too loud.
loving that. Now I do need to do a little bit of pink on there, I think, just to pull in I think it's working. What do you reckon? You think it turned out okay? For a quick scrap on a Monday? I think it looks okay. This is the part where you go, stop. You just have to stop. One more step. And then I'll stop. There we go. What do you reckon? Look okay? Think it turned out okay? Considering that started off just as a flat piece of white paper. That's it. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. So there you go, guys. No worries. I am going to probably pull the pin there because I'm starving and I need to... No, actually, wait one second. I think this needs just one more thing. Just one. Not a lot, just a little tiny bit. Just a little tiny bit of shimmer. This is a sparkle brush from Uniquely Creative and it just leaves the finest like white shimmer on whatever you touch with it it's so pretty i just think these middle ones need to have a i thought that bling would give it a lot of sort of sparkle but that's okay there we go Just add that onto those and then that will be the page done. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you dropping in and spending your time with me today. It has been fantastic. And as I said, if, you're, if you've only just tuned in, you need to rewind it to go back to see what tomorrow's layout looks like. I showed you what the video is um, earlier in the video and... I showed you the layout. It's, it turned out so pretty. I absolutely loved it. It's kind of... I'm in a bit of a floral mood this week. Bright florals is where I'm, my brain is at at the moment. So this is me, I think, done. There you go. What do you reckon? A little bit of gelatos, a little bit of liquid pearls... A little bit of a sparkle brush and a piece of white cardstock and look what you can create. I'm wrapped with that. Thank you so much for sticking with me guys and I will chat to you later. Have a great evening. Bye.